On January 5, 2019, at the Daranganga Recreational Ground in Barakpur, Trinidad and Tobago, former West Indies and Trinidad and Tobago legend Darren Ganga and his foundation arranged for his 11 to play against another legend, Brian Lara, and his 11. To make things even more crazy, the Tiger himself, Shiv Narayan Chandapal, joined in. EXTV gets to chat with these three legends about this match and more. This is not the first time you've been doing this. I've been following this for the last couple of years. You know, what really was the inspiration behind this entire thing and its continued success? Yeah, well, first off, I mean, I'm, I'm really blessed to be, you know, sort of um, alongside two legends of the game, to be quite honest. And, um, you know, I'd personally like to thank uh, both Brian and Shiv for being a part of this initiative. Brian, from the onset, you know, gave his commitment, for which I'm grateful of, and Shiv was here on the first year as well. So I'm really pleased that these guys are here. For me, this is really an extension of uh, what I do at my foundation in terms of uh, trying to inspire young people and trying to build a community community spirit it's about uh, sport and charity because uh, you know the resources from this event is going to go towards giving scholarships for kids uh, providing for a cricket academy as well and doing positive things in the community so this is very dear to to myself and members of the foundation and people who share that same sort of uh, vision and philosophy which Brian does in his own way he volunteers his time Shiv as well is doing a lot of charitable work so I'm really happy to have this collective effort and if we can inspire one or two or three young persons from this, I think we would have achieved our objectives. It is obviously a very community-oriented event. And you know, guys like yourself who have massive stature in the game. And then what is it like, you know, being in, interacting with the people in the community? What has it been like? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a follow-on to what I've seen. I mean, Brian did a lot of stuff for, for Santa Cruz and his community, and I'm sure, you know, he can speak about that. But this community has, has really built me from, a, from my childhood days. And I'm very grateful for that. So this is about me giving back. I don't know, Brian would, would want to share his experiences in Santa Cruz. I mean, it's communities where you start, really. That's where, you know, as a young man, you, you grow up and you grow up in, with different families around the place and you have that community sort of love. Um, I came from Santa Cruz, Cantaro Village, and uh, with a very big family as well. But, you know, ne nearly everyone in every single street you know, had kids my age, and I knew what it was to be that part of that, that sort of um, collective effort from all the families in the village. So for me, it's it's great to see what Darren is doing, giving back to the community that he came from. Um, every time I, I give Darren a call or whatever the case may be, somewhere down in Barapo with his parents or with family, and that's just so good to see. This is where we started, and this is where I suppose you'd want to give the first love. And it's always a grand gesture to see guys like yourself coming back to areas like this because I mean walking through the crowd you just feel the energy I mean anything from people like these guys are here they want to catch a glimpse of Brian the doctor himself you know Darren so you know what are your thoughts on you know the general atmosphere so far it's, um, like I mean Brian and, and Darren has covered most of it so far it's, the atmosphere is really nice, it's, it's really exciting and the people, like you said earlier, they want to see, they want to see players like Brian and Darren and myself out here and, and look, at, look at the turnout, it's, it's great and um, it's good to see you know, people um, also supporting it and, and, and here to, to be a part of it. So from a sporting aspect, we're going to speak about the game now, you know, what, do the fa what should the fans and the people around expect from each and every one of you? We'll start with you. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't played cricket in a while. <laughs> who knows? So, who knows what, what's going to happen out there. But we, we go out there and, and do what we know to do best and give it a shot. Okay. Darren? Yeah, well, for me, it's, uh, it's about playing alongside some of my teammates. It's about allowing uh, other persons a chance to rub shoulders with some of the legends of the game like Brian and Shiv. This is a rare opportunity. I draw a parallel to football. If somebody told me I had a chance to play with Diego Maradona or Lionel Messi or even a, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, I would pounce on the opportunity and that's the status that Shiv and, and Brian has and this is a rare opportunity for persons in the community yes. and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that they've given their time voluntarily to be a part of this and, and it's all about building that inspiration and building the support and the passion for the game from the rural communities so that it could impact positively on Trinidad and Tobago's cricket and, 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 and by extension West Indies cricket. So Brian, what should the uh, fans expect from you today? Well, I'm hoping that Darren brought a lot of balls because yeah. my last ex few experiences here, you know, there are a lot of sixes. So I think it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, the, the new and informed game is T20 and, um, you know, as a 49-year-old, you want to be out here for as least time as possible. So um, hopefully I can make the three hours, but it's just going to be fun as 
most importantly, interacting with the people in the village. I think that's what they really come out here to do, to rub shoulders with myself, with, with Shiv, with Darren, and anybody else who were here that you know made that stuff available. It really is a, a heartwarming gesture and also a very sincere one. People, it emanates naturally from you guys. So I don't want to keep you guys back. I know you all have lots to do, apparently, a lot of balls to chase in the boundaries, hopefully. Um, one last thing, you know, if people want to find out more about the Daranganga Foundation and more information about this, where would you direct them to? Social media, darangangafoundation.com. You can find out all that we do with regard to scholarship for kids, you know, the academy, you know, all those different things. So you can go to that uh, website or social media. It's readily available. Information is there. Okay, gentlemen, so have a good game and we'll probably discuss this afterwards. While we were there, we caught up with the West Indies and Trinidad and Tobago cricketer Marissa Aguilera, the T20 World Cup winner who recently participated in this year's ICC Women's T20 World Cup gives us her thoughts. Well, it's always good to come out and lend my support to Darren Ganga. He has been doing an extremely good job and I wish him all the best for 2019. Because at the end of the day, you know, the youths are the future. So we have to make sure and push them into the right direction. So this is what Darren Ganga is doing is definitely what we need at this particular time because we have to make sure we mentor these youths, you know, and make sure that they are going in the right direction because there are so many things that they can get distracted by. But, you know, something like this and the initiative like this will continue to keep them on the right track and even develop them you know mentally physically emotionally and it's really happy to see how much they appreciate us you know how much they look up to us so we have to continue to be you know proper role models and good ambassadors for the sport because we are but have to make sure that we project ourselves in the right image so that they can continue to look up to us and continue to you know to give that support that which we always need so we know you're a bit under the weather today so you'll be here as a spectator so you know you'll be gracing the crowd with your presence so it's always a pleasure i speak for everyone down here it's it's great to have you down here thank you very much thank you very much thanks for watching if you want to check out more look at this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button because when you do one of your enemies will be destroyed